and welcome to yet another video in the Unity UI extensions tutorial series. This time we're covering one of the more interesting controls in our, in our tool set, which is the selectable control. Now what this offers is like an RTS style selection system where you can be able to drag over elements and select them if they're within the selected area. Now a good thing about this is it actually works for both the 2D within the UDI system, it also works for 3D objects on the scene if you know how to use it properly. So we quickly swap over to Unity. In here you can see our sample scene at the moment. If I run this now, all I've got is a simple sphere. It's a nice 3D object in there. And with a light, just so we can actually see it on the screen a bit better. Now if you actually go to Game Object UI, Extensions and Selection Box, this gives an example setup of how to actually use the selection system. Now you'll notice the fact that this is a, this is a selection box which is an entire canvas. So what this, because this is a screen space overlay canvas, it means the selection area is the entire screen. You can add this script to actually a small area if you want. If you only want a portion of the screen to select from, then that's where you're going to put it on. So if I run this now with the box we've got there, is that we have a UI component inside of the area and I can then drag and select it. So yellow while I'm selecting and then green when I've selected. If I go and click off or click anywhere else, Obviously, at the moment, this is a UI, this is a 3D object. This is a UI object. Yeah, you can see we're going to click. Obviously, nothing's happening. So we can then also go and take our 3D object, our sphere, and we've actually got an example script here, which is the example select one. Now this uses a basic interface and can route into any script you've got in any 3D object. And all it really does is it opens up the interface so that it can receive the selected events look at the code for the implementation. If you have questions, feel free to ask it on the site. So I now I've got the sphere and I have this example selectable script, which is the same as I've got my UI object selectable. So it's the same thing. And now if I run this, not only can I select my UI command, I can actually also select my 3D object or both together. In fact, it doesn't really matter which way around so long as it's within the area that the actual selectable the selection box is running on whether it be on the entire canvas, in a world space canvas, however you want to do it. If you want to, do reset, if you want to have a panel which only goes over a small game window area, you can do that. The power is in your hands. Have a look at the scripts. If it doesn't work exactly how you want it to work, or if you want to tweak it or suggestions of any enhancements, as with all the other controls, put them onto the Bitbucket site and we'll have a look at them or even contribute your own. So that's been another video, video in the UI, Unity UI Extensions tutorial series and let's go on with the next one.